Okay, students, now we are going to discuss next exercise question 8.8. I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to speak, I'm going to read the statement of this question. When two nodes of frequencies F1 and F2 are soldered together, beads are formed. It will be F1 is greater than F2. What will be the frequency of the beads? I repeat, when two nodes of frequencies F1 and F2 are soldered together, beads are formed. If F1 frequency of first sounding body is greater than F2, frequency of the second sounding body, what will be the frequency of beads? Here we have give options like F1 plus F2. Here condition. Condition is given F1 is greater than F2. First choice is F1 plus F2. Second choice is 1 by 2. Mean to say half of the sum of the two frequencies. Third is the difference of the frequency first to second. And fourth is the half of the difference of the frequency F1 or F2. Okay, students, uh, this is about the number of beats and uh, here, two nodes of frequency F1 to sound together, beats are formed. We know that beats are formed when when the differences between two sounding bodies, frequencies, like this. Okay? So, our required answer should be choice number three. Third option, F1 minus F2. Differences of the first instrument to the second instrument, first sounding body to the second, first ordered sound to the second sound frequency. So in this way, we know that the number of frequencies are, uh, actually number of beats is equal to the differences of the frequencies which are producing per second. Now we are going to discuss next question which is 8.9. Okay students, now we are going to discuss next question. Uh, the statement of this question is, as a result of distant explosion and observer senses a ground tremor and then here's the explosion explain the time difference i repeat as a result of the distance explosion and observer senses a ground tremor and then here's the explosion explain the time differences students kaha ye gaya hai ki explosion hota hai dhamaka hota hai और जो ऑब्जर्वर होता है उसे सबसे पहले थरथराहट जो है जमीन में वो महसूस होती है बाद में उस धमाके की आवाज आती है इससे हमने एक्सप्लेन करना है सो स्टूडेंट वी नो दैट जब एक्सप्लोजन होना है ओके तो जैसे एक्सप्लोजन होना है तो उसमें से साउंड वेव्स जो जनरेट होनी है साउंड वेव्स ने क्या करना है उन्होंने मूव करना है थ्रू द टू मीडिया एक एयर है दूसरा सॉलिड्स है एंड वी नो दैट द स्पीड ऑफ द साउंड इज फास्टर इन सॉलिड्स देन इन गैसेस जैसा कि हमने एक्सप्लेन भी किया था अपने क्वेश्चन नंबर 8.6 के अंदर जो था इस एक्सरसाइज का क्वेश्चन था 8.6 उसमें हमने एक्सप्लेन किया था कि जो साउंड की स्पीड जो है वो फास्टर है इन सॉलिड्स देन इन गैसेस सो वी कैन आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन एज एक्सप्लोजन अकर्ड Sound waves travel toward travel through the two media solids and solids and gases okay uh, two media solids and gases and we know that sound waves sound waves travel faster in solids than in gases so that's why so that's 
Why? An observer. So that's why an observer will feel ground tremor first then will hear explosion okay students we can write the answer of this question as as explosion occurred sound waves travel through the two media solids and gases and we know that sound waves travel faster in solids than in gases so an observer will feel ground tremor first then will hear the explosion okay students now we are going to discuss next exercise question 8.10 explain why should why sound travel faster in warm air than in cold air i repeat explain why should why sound travels faster in warm air than in cold air okay so answer of this question can be written as according to the equation we know that speed of sound is equal to gamma p over rho okay we have studied the limitation of the speed because we studied that the speed of the sound does not depend upon the pressure okay so speed of the sound is inversely proportional to the one over root of the density and we know that the density of the gases is lesser than the density of the solids and in another way we know that when the particles of the gases are closer closer like in winters actually they are not closer so much in winter when the temperature is very very low the particle of the gases come close to each other and density of the gases increases and when in summer time in summer in summer time when the temperature is high the high temperature increases the kinetic energy of the gases and in this way they are move further apart and the density of the gases becomes less decreases in the winter in the summer because of the temperature less temperature high temperature and we know that the density is inversely proportional to the temperature if high temperature less the density and less temperature higher the density so in summer the density of the gases becomes low so if the density becomes low speed of the sound becomes higher and if the density of the gases will be large and in this way the speed of the sound will be less in winters because in winter the particle of the gases come close to each other their kinetic energy becomes less and in this way they comes close to each other and the density of the gases increases if the density of the gases increases the speed will be less so we can write this in answer in winter density of gas is low so or against density of gas is higher so v is less and in summer density of gases is low so speed v is high and you can also use your own words to explain this answer okay so now we are going to discuss next exercise question how should a sound source move with respect to an observer so that the frequency of its sound does not change i repeat how should a sound move with respect to 
an observer so that the frequency of its sound does not change okay student uh, the frequency apparent change in the frequency we have discussed in our doppler's effect doppler's effect doppler effect which discuss about the apparent change in the frequency depending upon the relative motion of the source and observer as here inquired us how should sound source move with respect to the observer so answer of this question is if sound source if sound source will move with same frequency the same velocity as of observer moving in same direction or if the relative if the relative velocity differences velocities differences if the relative velocity difference is zero then there then there will be no change in the frequency of both source and observer okay students if the both source and observer will move in the same direction with same velocity and their relative velocity difference is zero then there will be no change in the frequency so we can say that the frequency difference is zero and both will have same frequency and there will be no apparent change in the frequency